What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Decades. We are back. Dual Universe. This episode, I can tell you, I can guarantee you, by the end of this episode, we are building the new hauler. Alright, so let me go in inventory. I'm going to show you guys the ore weaver. And look at all this beautifulness. It's all done except these. And I've been waiting on this just to make sure there was nothing else I needed to buy from the space market. Because the space market is where I can go and get sulfur. And so this is what I need in order to make this. Everything else except for this. I'm waiting on my schematics to be done. I have the parts. And I already have the machine to make that. Waiting on the parts to be done. But everything else is finished. And if you're wondering... Let's go here, hit K, go back to detection. You have to craft this in uncommon assembly. And I have that being made as well. So in this, uncommon electronics, that's going to be made as well. So I figured, you know, might as well. I can't, I was trying to buy this somewhere, but nobody has any. So this will be done today. And this will be done today. And then we're going to build our hauler because surprise surprise it's time to move that's right we're going to leave this once I have the new hauler hopefully the new hauler I'll be able to pack all of my machines in hopefully I have no idea how, what it can carry because if this thing can carry um, what was it 130 tons um, 140 tons in the last episode the next one I think is 300 tons so it, we should be able to put all this into the other hauler and move to a new location problem is I can't move this base I can't move my little outpost so I'm gonna I'm going to find a, a blueprint that someone has a nice little outpost and I'll buy the blueprint thanks to Nova of course because again I'm doing all of this with fast forwarded by Nova giving out giving me that money that was that was awesome on top of being able to buy that shit because I only had 200 I think I had two hundred thousand dollars left and then they sent me the 50 million so I was able to buy this ship and then just buy all the different parts that I needed I was manufacturing a large transfer unit and it was like 110 minutes and it was another one of those situations where I logged out and then the next day which for me was like six hours um, logged back in and it had made no progress it was like I didn't it was like it didn't run while I was logged out so I just ran over to a well actually I ran to here Parked, took the shuttle to Alioth, purchased two of those transfers, got back on the shuttle, came back, and then shot back over here. It's a lot faster to do that. The only time I'm actually going to fly off my planet is when it's basically going out to sell my ores. Um, any other time, once I'm settled, I'll just shuttle from my base over to the nearest port whatever you want to call it, whatever these are called um, shuttle to here and then take the ship shuttle over to a different planet if I need to go whatever planet that well you you have sanctuary haven and alioth those are the only three pl places you can go if I need to go to one of those places I'll just take the shuttle um, so anyway that's that's it I have um, let's do control K. I have nine minutes before I can put the schematics in here to get this made. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video. I'll wait for the nine minutes are up and then I'll put the schematics in here, get this machine started, and then I'm going to take that, the ship, and I'm headed to right there. 82.75 SU and that is the space station okay uh, yeah I think that I think I covered everything um I don't know if you guys saw this I have this now basic smelter 
you guys saw my 3D printer. You've seen everything else. So I have quite a little line in here. Um, I was completely ignorant on my end. I assumed that the transfer units were able to, let's say, I connect this hub as an out and I was connecting the hub downstairs as an in and I thought that I will be able to tell it to just transfer certain parts between and that's not how these work these only transfer one part from one location to the next now you can have seven different machines inputting that same product into this transfer unit but it only you can only have one out so just to let you guys know it worked it worked really well though I tested it out because the majority of my machines all pull from the, the large container downstairs the hub downstairs which are connected to these two here right but the they pull from downstairs but they output up here and sometimes what it's outputting up here I need on another machine let's say over here which which is pulling from the hub downstairs so I connected this hub to there from there downstairs to that hub and I told it to transfer whatever that one particular product was that I needed now that's a there's a caveat with that as well because when I come over here I hit this in order to transfer uncommon hydraulics it won't transfer until you have at least 50 I had one in I only needed one I had one that was deposited here but I needed it downstairs and it wouldn't move it wouldn't do anything because it needed 50 so I had to manually transfer that so you have to watch those quantities um, what else? I think that's it. All right, so I'll wait for the schematics, deposit them over there. Then I'll go ahead and record myself getting from the into the ship and going to the space station for the very first time because I've never gone there. So this is all new territory. All right, <laughs> let's get it. guys we are here um i don't know where like am i supposed to dock it we'll, we'll figure it out we will figure it out wow are these people's are these bases that someone has 
No, they can't. I mean, they, they look exactly the same. That one, that one. Oh, maybe it's a blueprint. Wow. Oh, am I supposed to just park my ship and just get out of my ship? Is that how this works? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Maybe I go a little further, a little closer. Mm, right about. There. All right. I guess this is what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> uh, we'll see. So I get out of my ship and it's going to stay, it's going to stay, right? All right. You, whoa, 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 where are you going? Oh, okay, that's me. All right, let's go in here. What the? Jetpack off. Oh, you automatically. Okay, what? Wait a minute. Alioth landing teleporter? What do you mean? Are you telling me there is a way for me to teleport here? You, you, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me right now. I didn't see this. Alioth landing tele. Uh, I don't know what that. I, I'm not going to mess with that. Marketplace. What is this? Uh. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, storage. Yes, sir. Boom. Bada bing. Uh, so we have our, we can take this and take it to our um, sulfur. And this is for sodium. Uh, let me make sure there's nothing else I need. Oh, you know what? Let's see. See, it would be nice if it, we were able to come here, hit F, and just browse what they have. Like, items in stock. Um, let's go... Mine. Hmm. Uncommon. How much are the advanced? Three million? Holy. Oof. Okay. What about the uncommon? No, there are no hitting on here. Space mining? Rare. Exotic 14. Oh, I'm in the wrong business. I need to sell. I, I, I need to mind, uh, manufacture those. But I'm quite sure that takes some crazy amounts of ore. Um, exotic. Oh, that's what I just did. Basic. Okay, so we have basic, uncommon. So that's, that, I guess this would be tier 2 ores, tier 3. Tier 4, Tier 5, right? That has to be how that works. And I don't know what tier this would be. Okay. None there. Alright. So are you... Sanctuary Landing Teleporter. Wait a minute. Alioth Landing. That's absolute crazy 
if I just spent all that time for no reason. I mean, that'd be a welcome. That'd be a, a welcome oversight. If that means I don't have to fly out here all the time, because this this took a while. This took um, what time is it? About well, forty-five minutes. Hmm. All right. Well. Oh wait a minute. Hold on. Um. Oh here I am. I think this is me. That's me, right? Yeah, that's mine. All right. We are good. Okay, then. We're going to go back home so I can get these other parts manufactured. But I am really curious now about this Alioth landing teleporter. I'm gonna definitely check that out. Um, constructs. I'm gonna go to my landing strip. Okay. Let's get at it. We made it guys we made it and also uh, while i was journeying back to the base i did a little research online and that there there is no teleporter at alioth or any of the other safe uh ha ha um, haven alioth nor sanctuary where you can teleport up to the space station that teleporter was for those landing pads those landing pads that I thought were bases though there are four landing pads around where you can actually land on the pad and then go to the teleporter and teleport into the, the space station so just an FYI um, where am I going with this oh oh okay let's go over here let's get this put it down right over here and there we have it. Safe home sweet home. And what well, won't be home sweet home for long. Hint, hint, hint. Uh where am I going? Oh. I wanted to come in here. And let's go here. And let's take it all. Here to here. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now it's time. To get the rest of this these parts done. I have the sulfur. I have the sodium. I'm going to have to have you to create the sodium Pure sodium Ooh. production stop configuration sodium and go keep on moving so it produces pure sodium and carbon that's awesome and I, I've got a thousand liters of it so that's good and 
I have to build, I think, an uncommon, I think that's what it's called, an uncommon refiner in order to do the sulfur. So I'll get that done and I'll be back. Okay, time for an update. It's like 10 hours later and I've enclosed this part of the base just practicing um, seeing how easy it is to copy paste put up walls things like that um, and I was able to, these are all uncommon here uncommon 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 I think this is the electronics that's the refiner and this is the chemistry I think chemical industry so you're wondering like is it time to deploy man look at this weaver all the way down everything is nice and white except for these right here so I got those set up to go this is an uncommon extra small it's ready to go I just need two but there's a red box right here container guys we need two of these advanced electronics this is by far the biggest hurdle I've run into is this advanced electronics it was so much getting things set up for this to to make two parts right I'm talking hours of work and it's still not done because idiot me I went through this is how I normally determine what I need right so I go here I need two of these I need two of these I click here I say, okay I need all these click here I'm like okay I got all the parts let's make it I completely forgot okay oh I, I looked at this and I looked down here so we have the unnecessary machinery to craft it we have the parts to craft it you know what I forgot to look at the freaking uh, schematic that's required tier 3 product material schematic copy so I log I log back in like yes we're getting ready to make these and I can go ahead and deploy the ship uh, no that's a that's a totally different schematic than I've ever had bro this is three hours and eight minutes for one batch of this so I did two batches and there's still two more hours and I'm like oh man here we go again all right guys this is the moment we've been waiting on let's do deployment and here she is here she is that's what I've been building all right so right about there Let's go. <laughs> nice. Nice. Let's see. Basic space engine medium. Medium. These are two mediums here. This is a large, right? Atmospheric. What are these? Medium space. Oh, this thing's going to be flying quick. What is. What are these? What is this? Receiver? What's a receiver? What does that do? Atmospheric radar. Elements. Rather basic. What is an atmospheric radar? Hmm. What is this? Retro rocket brake. Large. Ah, this is this is free. This is sweet. It reminds me of a ship. I wonder if they got the design from Starbase, um, because Starbase had a ship look just like this, except for it was bright yellow. It was built, I mean, just like this. Oops, what is this? Retro rocket brake medium. This is dope. Oh man, this is. Oh, and it has a respawn right here. 
That's freaking sweet. What do you mean activate? What does this do? Uh, uh oh, I don't, I don't know what this does. And if I hit F, I don't know if that's gonna kill me or something. <laughs> what is this? Hub one. Oh man, so it actually tells me. Does this keep? Okay, let's let's try this. Let's put this in here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's sweet. That's 14 tons. What I just put in there was 14 tons. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, it is. That's 14 tons. That's craziness. Okay. Um, well... Let's, let's fill this up. Where's that fuel? Ooh, is this all the fuel I have? Mm. Where's the other tank? Hmm. Because that's going to take this. Okay. So, what is... The programming? I don't know. It says activate, deactivate, deactivate. This says activate. I don't know what that does. What is this? Data bank. Detection zone. Wardrobe. <laughs> That's the core. That's a bookshelf. Alright, so where is the atmospheric tank? Must be up here somewhere. Okay, um, ah, there's a tank, ah, there it is, right there, okay, let's go over here, and let's do this, nitron fuel, <laughs> All right, let's do nitron. All right, so let's do, nope. Let's do 3,000. Hmm. Three, six. Okay, 11 minutes, and if I would have did 30, I'm just wondering, is, is it like 11 minutes, 15? Okay, so it's the same. That doesn't make a difference. I know it makes a tremendous difference when doing a schematic. Okay, so we have the atmospheric tank there. I wonder, is that the only one? Has to be. How large is this? Okay, it's a large tank. So yeah, that's probably it then. That's a large tank. Hmm. 
Hmm, now, so I wonder now, is there a way... I guess not, you can't see it in here. I'm just wondering, is there a way to get access to that tank from in here? What is this? Oops, let me do that. Surrogate VR station medium, what? This here? Wow. That's crazy. How is that a thing? That just is that the top of it? Hmm. Okay. I'll take your word for it, bro. I'll take your word for it. Um What's going on with this? Why are these red? This is red as well. Hmm. Maybe it's nothing to worry about. They're not red over here, though. I wonder, do I need to... Do I need to repair those? No? Alright. I'll just... I'll leave it as it is. And... This is already full, right? Yep, perfect. And we'll just wait for that. Alright. So there's there she blows. I'm gonna... I'll... I'll start editing this video. Then I'll come back and see if the freaking sun comes up. So we can get a better look at this. But it looks good. Whoa. What the? That looks really good. I'm anxious. To, I, I, I'm excited to see the way it flies. Because I really like all these hover engines. Alright. Basic vertical booster. Make your vehicle hover over the ground. They work as well. As, uh, see, this is... I think that's the problem I was having with my ship. With the one that I bought from the from the uh, store. See, I, I... It doesn't have enough vertical boost. Not like I'm an expert or anything, but... Oops. See that? Because we have... Vertical, um, basic vertical booster, medium. We have one, two, and that's it. Oh, is this one here? Okay, so one, two, three, four. And honestly, guys, I don't think these work. These right here, these basic hover engines, because when I'm trying to hover, it just doesn't work very well. I always have to engage these booster engines. And uh, I do that by hitting spacebar, right? That is the, that's the only thing I see illuminate. That's the only thing I see that like activates when I hit spacebar. And when I'm just trying to hover over the ground, I don't see these generating any type of thrust like I've seen on my other ships. So if I come down, oh, wrong way. Of course, I check every other side but the one that it is, which is this way. Okay. So you come down here and you look at these. And one, two, three, four, five. That's freaking awesome. That's ten there. And then you have this big one. What is, right? Basic vertical booster large. So yeah, that's. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's going to be awesome there. So we should be able to hover with no issues. Hopefully. I still want to know what this is. It says switch off, switch off, and then it says... It listens for a signal pulse sent by an emitter from another construct and sets its output 
act on when it receives it. Hmm? For the emitter and the receiver to work together, you need to set the same channel on both of them. Use the link tool to link the manual button, not a switch to the emitter. At the other end, you should link the receiver to a two counter. Then link the two counter to an element you want to control. This way you can, for example, open and close your garage door from your ship. Oh wow, that's freaking sweet. Oh, I definitely need to know, learn how to do that. I didn't know you could have garage doors. So I definitely want to incorporate that into my build. If this handles, you know, if this proves to make me a better pilot. I would love to be able to, you know, come home to my my new base, which I'll show you in the next episode. We're going to be moving. Um, and then park within an enclosed hangar or something. You know, I, I pull up over it, hit a button and boom, the doors open and then I go down. That'd be pretty sweet. All right, guys, I'm going to um, stop the video. I keep thinking that the sun's coming up. But this isn't happening. Oh, there we go. It's not happening. Let's go here. Oh, man. We need even more fuel, bro. Pure carbon. Okay, two minutes. Perfect. And then we have a ton of everything else. So we need 600 liters. We'll do another 3,000. That sure does like it's coming up over there, though. Okay. Yeah, it rises in the east. Hopefully it's coming. That'd be great. Then I'll record all while there's daylight. I try to get on, get synchronized with the daylight, man. It's crazy. Okay, guys, we're wait. Uh, I've waited, and the actual sun has come up, and it is 11:46 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that should not change. So what I'm gonna do is start um, scheduling my recordings for probably 11:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then that means that from 11.30 until pretty much uh, 5.30-ish, 6 o'clock p.m., it'll be daylight. So I can get plenty of videos if indeed it is a six-hour window. So I'm going to test that today. Um, today is November 2nd. I'm saying November, September the 2nd. And it's again, now it's 11.47 a.m. And I'm going to record probably two to three videos right now um, from now until because Friday's wifey works until like 830 um, and I take usually I take Fridays off from the gym so I really don't have much going on and my the doctor you guys know I'm an IT guy and one the doctor office that I cover they they close at like 11 a.m. on Friday so I'm good. I'm good to go today. So I can get a lot of videos made. But check this out, guys. Just, you got to look at it. This is this is beautiful. This is a beautiful thing. I'm going to tell you why I like it so much. So I looked up. I looked up what this does. Right here. This emergency controller. It says. Uh-oh. Um, control F9. All right. Look at this. It says that in space, stop your ship from drifting toward the next planet. I've had an issue with that. And it says in atmosphere, land your ship automatically. I don't know how that works, but I need that in my life. Period. In this game, I'm just not all that good at landing these ships. Um, well, at least the, the two ships I've had practice with. Um, but this one seems to be very, very well engineered with all these thrusters under here. Also, let me let me show you inside the base. 
Let me show you guys. Let me show you what I did. Oh, and this is how I get up to my base at the very top. It's empty. Look at the reflection right here. I put a little window here so I could see when the sun was going to come up. Anyway, yeah, I know this is ghetto fabulous, but I wasn't planning on making this my home base once I figured out how that I can move to Alioth. So, you saw it was empty up there, right? This ship took every single thing I had in stock, every item I had in inventory, plus all the machines. And look how much, look at all the space I still have left. It has everything, all of my blue. Oh, guys, I've lost f over 500 blueprints. No, not blueprints, schematics. I say blueprints, I'm sorry. If you leave your schematics inside the machines and you collect, you pick up the machines and put it in your inventory, your schematics are gone. That's what I've found. I've tested it multiple times. Once you put, once you put the the machine in your inventory and you don't take the schematic out, it is gone. I hope they fix that when they launch the game. And I know somebody may be well. Just remember to take the no. I, you shouldn't have to do that. No, you should not have to do. That's like having to remember to take the inventory out of a container before you pick it up. It, it doesn't disappear. You get all them. You get all the inventory as well. I've seen it. I've tested that too. But the schematics disappear. So just a heads up, guys. Um, what else? Uh, oh, so I put all the machines, all of the inventory, all into this ship. And I still have a ton of space left. Tons of space. Oh, let's pick these up. I didn't realize it came on the outside over here. And also, I need to put down another miner, um, another small miner, to optimize the coal. Because I only have these three are mining the other three ores. I don't need to put down two of these in order to get all the ores from that from that pool, right? These hematite, and I'm getting 122, and the base rate is 108. But the efficiency, because I got, I just calibrated it at 100%, so I got a little boost. But this, I got it at 100%, and it's only getting 46 because it's this small, regular miner. So I can put down more miners here to get all of the uh, ores out. So I think I'll do that. But I'll do that off camera. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this. Let you know that it, I cannot review it yet as far as the way it flies. Because I've only got, I got in it, it hovered perfectly fine. I leveled it, I turned it, but I haven't taken off and flown it yet. Because I figure I'm going to just go right into my next episode. And we're going to take this and I'm going to show you the new crib. <laughs> well, the new space. And uh, my idea of how I want to build it out. And by no means can I do something like this. That's just beyond my capabilities. But I'm planning on making a platform and, you know, setting up my storage and getting my miners going. All right. So until next episode, guys, keep it positive. Positive energy, positive attitude, positive outlook, positive actions. It's your boy. Look at all oh, this is awesome. Control F9. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. The or weaver. Yeah, this is sweet. I like the fact that they said you're gonna be able to take a blueprint and substitute the materials. So if I wanted to have this, oh, and I think they said they're gonna have purple. You guys know purple is my favorite color, so my ships are gonna be purple, bro purple and I want some of this glowing luminescent I want some of that with purple oh that'd be sweet that'd be sweet purple black and some illuminating 
Anyway, all right, guys. Until next episode, keep it positive. I'll see you guys soon. It's your boy, and I'm out.